Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Eli and this is my 342,000 mile BMW M3. Now, this car, as you know from me just saying it, has a lot of miles on it. And one of the things that you don't really think about when you're putting miles on a car is, you know, the speakers and the music that you're listening to. Now, this car has the upgraded Harman Kardon system, which personally I think sounds awesome. Um, but the homies over at Bav Sound said that they have an upgrade for me. So they sent out their stage one speaker kit, which is fun because in all of the cars that I've owned, which would be this is the only one I've ever done an audio upgrade on, which is pretty cool. My visit to the homies at Obsessed Garage really turned me on to the fact that I'm missing out on the, you know, the listening to music aspect of my car. It's something I haven't really thought about before. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a sound test before we install any of the speakers. I guess I'll record it, but you're not really going to be able to hear a difference, I don't think. If you do, then obviously there's a big difference, but um, let's see if we can hear a difference between the Harman Kardon system and the upgraded Stage 1 system from Bavs. And again, huge shout out to Bavs for sending it out. I'll put the link to the product in the description, and uh, let's get rolling. I found this random royalty-free track on uh, Epidemic, so hopefully I don't get copyright striked. Shouldn't, because I pay for it. Um, but there's good bass, there's good treble. Uh, the system is straight up in the middle for uh, bass and treble, so it'll be the exact same setup for the Bav sound, but... There's a, I mean, it's a really crisp high. It, it lacks some low-end punch. I don't know if it's just a song. I'm gonna listen to a couple other songs, but uh, I'll be able to comment better once we get the uh, install going. So let's go ahead, unbox the speakers, and get it popping. Now, doing some basic assumptions on highway and other driving, I worked out that about 70% of the time this car has been driven, uh, it's been driven with the music on, and the total time spent listening to music in this car, based on its history, is probably around 161 days of music, which is wild. Anyway, getting back to the install, I pulled the passenger side speaker cover off and noticed that the inside of that speaker cover was completely deteriorated. It was pretty gross, so I took the shop vac to it and uh, ended up sucking out all the rest of that kind of speaker mesh or whatever just to make sure that that didn't fall into the new speakers. I don't think it really serves a purpose other than maybe blocking dust, so no big issue there. Install was going super smoothly, started to put everything back together. Then I got lazy and decided to use the power ratchet to get back the child restraint and uh, smack myself in the face with it. Ow! So we got the rear decks done. Next step is to remove the rear seat, which is really straightforward. You just pop it up and then you kind of have to wiggle it out. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but mine is out. I'm gonna block your view for one second. Sorry, internet. There we go. You know what they say, if you can't find it, grind it, right? All right, now we're gonna have to peel the seal back a little bit, which seems easier said than done. In between there, once it's loose, it's loose. You don't have to go crazy, but just up enough that it loosens this panel, and then down enough that it loosens that panel. Now that that's loose, we're gonna reach in here, and I think there's some tabs that we have to pop out. It's such an awkward angle to work at. Uh, yep. Tab up there, and then I think there's a tab down here. This toolkit that is an option to buy with the Bav sound kit should come standard. Like, unless you've got every tool, this thing is a lifesaver. I, I don't have a metal, like, pry tool. This thing is awesome. And then, you know, they have every tool to get the job done, so if you don't have any tools uh, in your tool kit, ow, this is sharp. If you don't have any tools in your tool kit, you can also just uh, use the Bav sound kit, and you should be able to get this job done, no problem. Now, what I just did there that you didn't see is, see this speaker right there? It mounts onto this thing um, by screwing onto it. You can see it's like loose and floppy now. We're gonna actually end up pulling this speaker out and we're gonna change the ring out on it. A lot of the connectors on this car seem to be just kind of pull connectors. Why are you not focusing? A lot of the connectors on the car seem to just be pull connectors as opposed to tabs, but make sure you're not missing any tabs when you're pulling the connectors out. Now, if you come with me to my coilover box workbench, um, we're just gonna go ahead and pry up which seems easier said than done. I've done the other side already at this point and I'm honestly not quite sure how I got the speaker itself out. Um, it's like a really weird 
and then, oh, there we go. You just kind of have to force it. And this is the right angle pick, pick again that comes with the Bab Sound uh, kit. I'm not super worried about breaking this because I'm not gonna reuse these speakers. They're not going back in the car. I'll tell you that much. And then it comes apart just like that. The new speaker, let's pretend this is the new one. Actually, let me just go get the new one. We're gonna open up this new speaker here. And we're gonna take the glue that comes with the kit, put it around the edge of this, and then it's just gonna sit in here right like this. The only unfortunate thing is that it doesn't reuse the tabs, so you really have to let the glue set. Um, I already tried to install the driver side one um, and didn't let the glue set long enough and it just fell right out. So I uh, learned my lesson, gonna let the glue set longer and I have a special glue setting method coming right up. I got both speakers set under there. That should hopefully have enough weight that everything bonds and we have no issues. Front door, this is super simple. The hardest part is getting the door off and putting it back on, actual speaker replacement, six bolts and you're in business. So let's get into it. Pop this out, the door comes off. There's a white thing back here for the door handle. It just pops this thing right here. Pops that way, pull from this part, it'll pop right out. And then you got speaker connectors, which again, just slide right out. Maybe don't do that. There we go, slide right out. And this one is a pinch connection at the bottom. And then, we have our door panel off. Phillips head. And then these connect. Uh, it's brown to, uh, it's ground wire to ground wire, power wire to power wire. Uh, Bab Sounds install instructions with all linked down below tell you which one is which. I haven't been able to get these rear speakers in because they keep fall like the glue hasn't fully set. I think I'm rushing a little bit. I'm gonna let them set for a night, but they are plugged in so we can get the full experience. Alright, I know it doesn't sound any different on there. Um there is so much more low end in these speakers, which is weird because they're not subs. But they're like, I guess they're mid bass is what you would call them. So the highs are just as crisp, if not a little crisper. But there's so much more punch. Remember, I was like, I'm not sure if this is a good song for bass. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna come through on camera. Can I turn the bass up a little bit? Turn it up two notches. This is good. I'm gonna listen to some copyrighted music and I'll report back. I'm gonna get copyright struck for playing Odessa, but that's one of my favorite songs because it's got the lows, it's got the highs, it's got the mids, and it's all together. Um, this system is as good, if not better, than the Bang & Olufsen system in my SQ5, and I am confident that the Bang & Olufsen system had significantly more speakers than this does. This sounds freaking amazing. I don't know why I haven't done audio upgrades before, but Wow, the, the Bav Sound kit, that was so simple. Oh. This system, wow. Uh, the lows, there's so much more meat to the sound and the, the highs are crisp. I'm not an audiophile by any means, but I know my sounds and... A man. All right, well that wraps up the Bav Sound install on the M3. That is eight cars that I've owned. This is the first car that I've ever installed an audio mod on. 
I cannot say that this will be the last one because this is so satisfying and so simple. I don't know why someone doesn't have this out for Volkswagen and Audis. Um, but uh, it sounds awesome. I'm super excited with it. Obviously, uh, everything was plug and play. No fitment issues, no nothing. Bav sounds pretty great about that. Uh, and they have a really good customer support team there too. So if you need anything, obviously, just shoot them an email. Uh, I'll put a link to the product down below. As you can tell, I'm losing my voice. This video actually happened over three days and my voice has gotten progressively worse through all of them. Um, what can you do? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. And sorry that you can't experience it in person. If you ever see me out in the M3, Ask to sit down and listen to the Bab sound system because it, it's awesome. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go out there and spread some positivity. And I will catch you guys in the next video.